which again is going to be the same thing. Pretend that instead of square root, we've got, um, you know, we've got to the one half here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and bring the one half out in front, leave the center intact. Of course, the exponent becomes the negative one half, and then we have to multiply by the derivative of the inside with respect to z, which is two z. The twos will cancel and we'll be left with z over the square root of x squared plus y squared plus z squared. We know that the bottom is 13, and the top here, we plug in 12 for z, so we know that the top is 12. So c right here is going to be 12 over 13. So now that we've done we plugged in the original point. We plugged in the point 3, 4, 12 to the original function to solve for k1 here. Then we took partial derivatives with respect to x, y, and z and solved for a, b, and c. Now we can write the uh, we can write out the entire equation. So we're going to have k minus 13 equals 3 over 13. We're going to leave k, x, y, and z intact, and we're going to plug in the point, 3, 4, 12, for uh, x, y, and z here. So x minus 3 plus 4 over 13 times y minus 4 plus 12 over 13 times z minus 12. Sorry for the, for the cramped spot there. So this is the equation of the tangent plane. We found that, that part of our um, solution. You can leave it this way, that's totally fine. You can also um, simplify this, and I think I'm going to go ahead and simplify because it'll end up being a cleaner answer. So let's say um, k, we're going to go ahead and add 13 to this side, so I'm going to say k equals um, 3x over 13 minus 9 over 13 plus 4y over 13 minus 16 over 13 plus 12z over 13 minus 144 over 13. And then remember, we're adding 13 to both sides, so plus 13. So what we're going to end up with k equals, um, let's go ahead and write it this way. 3 over 13 times x plus 4 thirteenths y plus 12 thirteenths z. And then we have minus 9 minus 16 is minus 25. Minus 144 is minus 169. So we have minus 169 over 13 plus 13, and of course that simplifies 169 over 13 is 13, so we have, um, we have minus 13 plus 13, which would be plus 0, so that's all going to go away. So this is our simplified um, equation of the tangent plane to the graph of this function at this point. We went ahead and, and solved that. Now the only thing we have left to do for this problem is to plug in the point Q, 3.03, 3.96, 12.05, .05, to this function. So what that's going to look like, let's just go ahead and erase this and make sure you guys can see. So we plug in the point. We're going to end up solving here for K. So K equals... 3 over 13 times 3.03 .03 plus 4 over 13 times 3.96 plus 12 over 13 times 12.05. And since I don't have um, a calculator in front of me, I went ahead and did this ahead of time, and your answer ends up being... 
giving you guys as many decimal places as possible so that um, you can make sure that you get the right answer as well. So again, the, uh, the final solution to this problem is two parts. The first is the equation of the tangent plane. You could have left it at the step before this, but I like to simplify it so that it's cleaner. So you would need to write this down as part of your answer. And then also um, this 13.040769, which you got when you plugged in the point Q. Thanks, guys.